I've been in this for 26 years now, and I've seen stories come and go, and some of them are quite powerful. Uh, I've seen movements come and go, and some are quite powerful. I've not seen something like this. But the people I think about the most, they're the 24-year-old single working woman. Now, courage and, and a voice are great, but they don't put food on the table at the end of the week if you lose your job. There are people who are not believed, not because their stories aren't true or credible, but because there's a certain kind of skepticism that comes with all kinds of identity factors, whether it's sexuality or race or, yeah. or class. And so we tend to think about Hollywood, and I want us to understand that this is... Uh, sexual harassment, sexual assault is something that happens to women of all races, all ages, all sizes, you know, all backgrounds, religions, and, and, and until we can believe all women, every woman's voice has value, none of us really will be seen as equal. We have to change enablers and bystanders into allies. We have to encourage men in the workplace to find the same amount of courage that women do in coming forward, in coming to our defense. The question is not how do I be a perfect human being, right? And how do I not be a good man or a bad man, but how do we be a better man and understand that that's going to be a lifelong process and do the sort of intrapersonal work too, which make, makes us understand that like we are all complicit in this as men. And unless we're actually doing something to be a part of the solution, we're sort of part of the problem. More men are stepping up. And that is an important change in, in what is going on. And it will take men to stand up for equality in the workplace and on the streets and where and in our schools. The responsibility when you hear an accusation over and over again is to stop working with these people. I said this before, if everybody who knew about Harvey Weinstein just refused to work for him or work with him or hire him, he would be rendered powerless. So that's what we need to do. When, when we hear stories over and over again about predators, stop working with them. I think the Me Too campaign is changing everything. Uh, to have a public forum where uh, men and women can come forward to tell, unfortunately, the worst stories of their lives publicly is creating pressure. I mean, look at how much accountability we've seen in the last few weeks alone. Uh, people who uh, are being accused of heinous crimes, of horrible assault and harassment, they are now being held accountable. They're losing contracts, they're losing jobs, um, they've lost reputation. And so even if you can't perhaps sue your perpetrator because of a statute of limitations, I would still tell your story if you have, if you feel safe enough to do so and if you have the um, ability to do so, because that is the way we create change. Okay. As y'all well know, boy, look at here. The hits just keep on coming. As you see right here, courtesy of CNN, Charlie Rose was suspended by them today because eight women have now come forward accusing him of sexual harassment with allegations of groping, unwanted sexual advances, and inappropriate phone calls. Uh, let me continue. Uh, Washington Post broke the news on Rose, who's a co-host of CBS This Morning, 60 Minutes corresponds in the star of an eponymous uh, PBS interview program that's on Channel 2, uh, published claims from the women, three of whom went on record in a story that became the latest to allege that a member of the media's power class demonstrated inappropriate behavior. And it's mostly everybody in the, in the mainstream media. So, you know, Charlie Rose is suspended immediately while we look into this matter. Additionally, uh, PBS announced that they had suspended the distribution of Rose's show, saying it was shocked to learn a day of these deeply disturbing allegations. Now, Bloomberg, which also airs Rose's interview show, said it was it too would stop airing it. Now, in a statement to the Post, Rose said, "In my 45 years in journalism, I have prided myself on being an advocate for the careers of the women with whom I have worked." Nevertheless, in the past few days, claims have been made about my behavior towards some former female colleagues. It is essential that these women uh, know I hear, I hear them and I deeply apologize for my inappropriate behavior. I am greatly embarrassed. I have behaved insensitively at times and I accept responsibility for that. Though I do not believe that all these allegations are accurate. I always felt that I was pursuing shared feelings even though now I realize I was mistaken. 
I've learned a great deal as a result of these events, and I hope others will too. All of us, including me, are coming to a new and deeper recognition of the pain caused by conduct in the past and have come to a profound new respect for women in their lives. I don't know what about this, you know, because I see it both ways as well. Shoot, because you got some women that's also be in the place too that often do the same sort of thing to men. So those swing both ways. But in this case, the majority of the ones who are doing it happen to be so-called white males that's doing it. Harvey Weinstein, his thing was happening. It just opened up a Pandora's box. But look at what's going on with, with that, you know. Um, shoot, look at look at the Clintons. Look at look at the Trumps. Mm -hmm. Look at all of them. You know, you got a guy sitting in the White House now who who openly said that he don't mind grabbing grabbing women by the by the P U S S Y. But yet though, the idiots in this country still voted for him. You know. In fact, his whole administration is nothing but pedophiles and. Um, probably potential rapists and so on and so forth. And as an interview, you seen Gretchen Van Carlson. What the hell she got to say? Bitch, you with Fox. So, you know, what she say on there is irrelevant. And I was even surprised to see that was Anita Hill, who basically, this goes back to the 90s, 89, 90, early 90s, with her allegations with Clarence Thomas, y'all remember Long Dong Silver, that sort of thing. But um, y'all can go ahead, ladies, fire away in the comment section, fellas too. Let me know what y'all think about this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, y'all go ahead, share, subscribe. Um. Make sure you click the bell for the notifications. And also, you can donate $1 to PayPal account. That'd be greatly appreciated. Um, I got no more to say, no more talk. I'm done. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And peace and love.